So a few weeks ago, I did a buy. I bought an Evo 5 and I bought it without seeing it and without driving it because it was 28 hours round trip away across Sweden. Sweden's a big place. Anyway, the car has now arrived. So today, let's take a first look. So what sparked the Evo here in Sweden for me was there was a white one for sale on the Block It website, which is like the auto trader in the UK. Uh, it was really cheap. It was like £9,000, so probably a lemon. Went to go see it. I was excited. I thought, oh, this could be a cheap project. This could be a bit of fun. Wouldn't keep it forever. Just have a bit of fun in it. Went to see it. Absolute fucking turd. It was a nail. It was, oh my God, it was more rust than Evo. You'd have had to spend maybe 30,000 quid making it into a passable car. But I got to drive it, never driven one, which is sort of a thing with me. Loved the drive of it, loved the noises it made and just how it felt to be in it, smelling Japanese car smells again. And I loved the look of it. It just, it brought back everything that I remember from those late nineties. So that was it. I knew I wanted to get an Evo 5. I wanted one that I could keep. I decided it was a keeper car for me because of the memories that I had with them growing up. And I put an advert for wanted on one of the local websites called Racer and a chap called Jesper, he got in touch with me and he said, I've got a car for sale. And I said, okay, send me some details. So he sent me the spec. It was a really impressive spec. And he said, it's really tidy. It's really low miles. It's in fantastic condition. You won't find a better one. All the usual things that people normally say to you, but I was interested. The only problem was he was under the side of Sweden in an area called Wellefteå, which is a 28 hour round trip to drive to. So after looking into flights, after looking into driving, etc., I decided that I wasn't gonna do that. I decided that I was just gonna trust Jesper with what he said. We did some video calls. He sent photos and so on and videos. And I was gonna buy it sight unseen without driving it and get it delivered to me here. I've made a huge mistake. So let us take a look at just what I bought. So here it is. It's a 1998 silver Evo 5. It was imported from Japan to the UK, like most of them are. And then it was exported from the UK to Sweden. And it's had a few owners in Sweden and obviously ended up with Jesper. And now with me, it has just over 60,000 kilometers on the clock. So what's that? About 38,000 miles. So really low mileage. And the first thing I noticed when I saw it was if you look at the paintwork on it, and you can't really find that many marks on it. 
it's kind of speechless really as to it being what 23 year old car and the paintwork looks better than most new cars there's a few marks in a few places like on the front bumper there's a few scratches and scuffs and a bit of a paint damage here but um and obviously the the mesh has seen slightly better days but overall it's perfect so like i said it had a pretty tasty spec so let's run through the spec that it has at the moment so it's got two sets of wheels it's got 17 inch nks which i think are from an evo 7 on meh tires it's got koenig decagram decagram 18 inch wheels sat on ar1 tires they're quite light they're quite nice i'm not sure if i'm going to keep them or not i've got some ideas but standard calipers with endless pads braided lines new j-hook discs project moo lightweight nuts it's got extended studs because it's running 15 mil spacers on the front to clear the calipers it has bcbr coilovers on it they have uprated springs on them it has a fujitsubo exhaust that's been modified so one of the boxes has been taken out to give it a bit more noise but it's still not fruity enough for my liking it has the rear diff from an evo 8 i think and that rear diff is polybushed the front of the car is all polybushed so just the rear needs to be done on the suspension side of things it has a cusco rear stuck brace upper and lower it has a cusco front stuck brace upper and lower and it's got evo 6 front hubs i believe so they sit a bit further out which allows you to get a bit more camber so this car is running i think minus 3.5 minus 3.8 degrees so let's take a look at the engine which is where most of the money has gone on this car you see the brace there you can see the coilovers there with the camber plates aftermarket air filter hard pipe kit it's got tire sport intercooler and semi hard pipe kit i think for that it's got carbon slam panel rally art i don't know if that's original or not rally art rad cap obviously it's got the hks ssqv but the original one so the mark one which is pretty cool nice and retro same sort of age as the car you can see from looking at the engine that it's pretty tidy and there's a few things that kind of give away that it looks stock which is what jesper wanted so that he could get it mot'd each year without issue and people didn't know what power it was but it's very much not stock so jrm racing is well known here in sweden for working on a lot of cars but they work on a lot of evos big power evos and this one is kind of one of those so it's 2.3 liter stroker kit it's eagle stroker kit and all the gubbins that goes with that x eddy twin plate clutch to to get the power down but you've got little other, other cues like you've got the fuel pressure regulator back there is uprated and you've got the gauge there showing you what the fuel pressure is you can't see them but the injectors are huge injectors i can't remember the spec i will add it to the video if i find out what that is or if i remember the breather obviously going still into the intake there but the manifold is standard new standard the turbo i'll put the spec up is standard size turbo but uprated obviously it's running 2.3 bar of boost at the moment the car has an uprated fuel pump and so lots of uprated fuely things and other things going on if you look closely the car runs on e85 which most cars here in sweden run on that are highly modified or even lightly modified because it's available everywhere and it's great for power not great for economy as i'm discovering using half a tank of fuel almost doing like 30 miles who cares it's fun on e85 gas power that the car is putting out at the moment is 507 wheel horsepower not sure of the torque i need to ask jesper and if i find out i will add that to the video so that is the engine bay where most of the work has gone on fun and interesting because it doesn't really look like a lot has been done which again jesper wanted and i kind of like that so let's move on to the interior there isn't a great deal to say about the interior it has evo 8 i believe rear seats and you can see it's got mounts for harnesses from past owner and if we take a look in the front same again evo 8 front seats i think it's evo 8 seats with the higher bolsters the seats sit a bit too high you don't feel quite low enough in the car which is a bit of a shame but the seats are nice i fitted my sparco steering wheel out of the m3 already i need to work on that a little bit and then if we jump in it has rally art gear knob which is 
quite nice quite like that pioneer stereo not interested in that whatsoever and it's got the original mitsubishi gauge pod here so it's got volts it's got oil temp and it's got boost it only goes up to a bar so the boost gauge not that i look at it but that just kind of spins around and does what it wants so the interior fairly blank canvas and it's in pretty good condition for an older japanese car it's not perfect but what do you expect it's 23 years old Okay, so me being me, what am I going to do with the car? What are my plans? My plans are on the interior, I'm thinking of ditching the back seats completely. Not sure whether I'll put a seat delete kit in or not. Not sure about roll cage yet. That might come later. Seating wise, I want to get a set of Sparco Evo or Evo L's. I think they are now. Possibly some Sabelt harnesses. Again, not 100% sure on that. I don't want to compromise the car too much for use on the road. Gear stick, I'm thinking of fitting a Cooler Works shifter kit like the CAE and like the 0.1 technology stuff. You can get in the Megane and Beamers and things. Quite like the idea of one of them. Stereo, speakers, they're going and I'm going to fit a starter button and a few switches and a kill switch and stuff in its place there just to add to the rally feel. Probably ditch the mats, ditch the airbags, anything I can do really to save a bit of weight without getting too carried away to go into the boot so the plan in the boot don't know if you can see it but there is a big sub there that's going obviously the speakers are going there's a relay there for the fuel pump that i need to tidy up and do a better install of but i'm obviously going to strip out the boot entirely like i did in the m3 again anything to save a little bit of weight where i can without getting too carried away the exhaust the fujitsubo that will get sold i don't really like that so much i'm going to get a blitz nurse spec put that on the car that should get it sounding a bit nicer this is going and i'm getting a carbon fiber one just to add a bit of carbon because it's always good mirrors they're going. I'm getting Rally Tech Group A mirrors. I've already paid the deposit. It takes about five weeks to make. And same for the blade for the spoiler. Front bumper that's a bit scuffed and messed, which is understandable. Gonna ditch that. And Rally Tech again have said that they can do me a TME front bumper. And I think that will look really cool. I really love the TME front bumper, but I'm not a fan of the Evo 6 rear wing. In terms of the engine, probably just, I'm hoping, just a few bits of tidy up here and there. Maybe replace the non hard pipe bits. I do want to replace the Toyo Sport intercooler because Toyo Sport is shite. I want to replace that with a Greddy. Well, Greddy is the only one I've found so far. I'd love HKS or Blitz, but I've not found a Evo 5, Evo 6 specific uh, intercooler from those guys. So it looks like it might have to be Greddy. The air filter, that is going to go and that is going to be replaced by in that little box there from Fen Sport. If you can see, I've got a Blitz SUS stainless steel filter already to go on. So that's going to be done. Coilovers, see how I get on with the coilovers, but I might replace place them for something more Japanese like Cusco's or HKS or something like that for a bit of fun. The engine lid, if I can find a carbon one or a fiberglass one that's reasonable, I'll probably do that if it's going to save me some weight. But on this standard engine lid, I'm going to be replacing, sorry, not replacing, I'm going to be removing all of this crap under here. Again, saving a bit of weight, decluttering. Wheel-wise, as I said earlier, it's got two sets of wheels. Wheel-wise, I'm thinking of trying to get either white T37s or bronze ones or or white Advanar G3s or bronze ones. That's my thinking at the moment, but obviously finding them is quite difficult. So I may end up getting the RS or RT51s that I've put onto the Spider. I might end up asking BC Forge Wheels to make me a set in the spec that I want for the car because you can get them in gloss white and so on and they're quite light. So that is about it mod wise. Maybe a few of the little subtle bits here and there, who knows? But the first mod I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the orange front indicators and replace them with white ones it came with some over there on the floor but they are they've seen better days so i've already bought some nice shiny new ones so i'm going to put them on and see how they look the wiper delete kit that was on the car had seen better days so i've resprayed that and tidied it up so that needs to go on so that's a little job to do as i always say that's it hopefully do all that and i'm kind of going to be happy with it i did think about lexan i uh, might get rid of the window motors and things like that and lighten the doors a bit did think about fiberglass doors or carbon doors but then on a road car i just think it's going to compromise it too much and i don't want to spoil it 
So there you go, not driving it today. Sorry if anyone wanted to see me driving it. That'll have to be another video because I've got my girls staying with me at the moment here in Sweden for a few weeks. So I can't really do a lot while they're here. So I've snuck into the garage to do this video quick just to sort of share it with people because a few people have said, got any videos yet at the Evo? Or what did you buy in the end? And I'm sorry if there's a mark on my head, look like something from Fifth Element, Purple Element. Um, from the, the camera mount that you wear on your head. So please ignore that. That's the car. Hope you'll agree that it's a pretty good looking car. Hopefully I have bought wisely and well there and it serves me well and I have a lot of fun with it and I get to do a lot of cool stuff with it. Yeah, those are the plans and that is it really. So until the next video, which will probably be me doing the front orange lenses, getting rid of them, putting the clear ones on, seeing how they look. That's it. Thanks for watching.